And then we'll do Casey Neistat. And then turn it on. Here we go, you're gonna be like. <laughs> <laughs> What are we doing, Luke, today? Just eating bread. <laughs> <laughs> nice day off while well, Gene and I hard yeah, at work. Yeah, just doing the housework, you know, cleaned the whole place, did the food shop, ironed the shirt for tomorrow, you know. <laughs> you gotta do all those things on a Sunday. What are you guys' thoughts on eating Man. before running? Yeah, you gotta fuel up, you know, like, <laughs> it's simple. Sometimes we start the run with a sandwich in hand, you know. <laughs> Jed would know about that, actually. Mm. Jed, he's in Adelaide now. Yeah. He is. Rest in peace, Jen. <laughs> 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 no, we love you, Jen. Got the sunscreen up. <laughs> you guys should run a knees today. It's quite a fashionable way. Hello people, we're here with the Schofield Twins. What do we do today? Are we jogging? Are we... We're swimming, we're swimming. Yeah, swimming. We're swimming. We got yeah, our swimming yeah. clothes on. And we're running then dipping, right? Yeah, running then dip. Run yeah. then dip. Run dip. Yeah. It's like cookies and... No, crackers and dip, but running and dip. <laughs> <laughs> so where are we running, boys? Uh, we'll do <laughs> North Head. Yeah. 10K, let's go. Yeah. One of the ways to tell you guys apart is one of you have your watcher in your hand and the other one on the wrist. You have your watcher on your hand. <laughs> 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 I have it on my hand, but like I'm normal. Explain the thought process behind holding the watch instead of putting it on your wrist. Which one got this one? Yeah. yeah. Um, it started <laughs> off with a bit of eczema around the wrists, which is why I was like, oh, wearing the watch while sweating doesn't really help. So I started like, okay, to eliminate the eczema, I'll, um, I'll hold it. But now I don't really, I don't think it's an issue anymore, but I've gotten into a habit of holding it. And I think it's actually way better, cause like, you know, say you're doing reps or something, the buttons are right there, you don't have to cross over. Um, you know, if you look at the screen, it's just boop, have a look. And this is actually more practical. I was talking to Jane at work today about how run clubs are getting huge and people are starting to talk about how run clubs are the new dating app, which yeah. is interesting. Wait, I just want to talk a bit about run clubs today. Well, run clubs are definitely <laughs> in right now. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> So I guess the very first thing is if no one hasn't realised what a run club is, but they're all over Sydney, right? Right? Yeah, yeah. they're huge, they're blowing up. And like the main one's probably the official run club. Unofficial. <laughs> unofficial. The, the unofficial. <laughs> Didn't even get it. I think the first thing you notice is the marketing and the social media is insanely good, right? Like it's like they just got the biggest trends, they're all over TikTok and Instagram reels. Like whoever's managing that account is doing a very good job. So yeah, obviously, like you said, run clubs are popping up everywhere. Yeah. Do you reckon it's the people that are starting to get interested in running or people getting better at marketing or is it a bit of both? Ooh. Ooh. I reckon it starts at marketing. I think people can get better at running just without having, showing, having some kind of interest, right? I reckon the running started first and they're like, oh, we're growing. We better up our social media game. And then it just escalated on that, but I can running camp first. No, 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 but like, how does it get initial interest? Like, it could be from shoes. Like, maybe the shoes just got really soft and squishy. People loved it. 100% that is. I can, 
shoes tech has gotten better, yeah. which is why people are joining the sport. And as a result, the clubs have grown. But they can only spread the news about the shoe tech getting better if there was good marketing behind it. It's the chicken and the egg situation. Front side, you go all the way up the coast to to like uh, Freshy and then past that. Yeah. Um, and then you got North Head. It's pretty cool. It's a bit hillier, a bit more trowly. Um, but options. Yeah. There's a plane over there. <laughs> <laughs> I like North Head. Yeah, North Head. I'm a big fan of it. Yeah. Look at it. Look at this. Alright. So, run clubs. They're popping up everywhere. Are they a good thing or are they a bad thing? Mm. What do we reckon? So I reckon they're obviously good. Like it's, it's increasing the running community. I think it's good for the brands and the shops because they're getting heaps of exposure. Like good for Pace Athletic, um, for good for you know sales, good for sales. Um, like obviously it's it's creating friendships. Oh yeah, that's a simple one. Yeah. Um, keeping and everyone healthy. Yeah. Keeping everyone healthy. Getting healthy. Yeah. Get one. Get one off the couch. You know. Another activity to add on to your day just to keep things, keep life exciting. But what are the bad things? Yeah, well, I feel like I still need that balance. I need to be able to run alone sometimes because I'm not going to do every single run with other people. Like, my training is not going to match with all the people yeah. that I'm running with. Yeah. And I also like having a bit of time alone to think about stuff. Yeah. You know, clear my mind a bit. So I guess what, what are, we can then ask the question, what, what are the good things about running solo? Yeah. Um, I think it's great. Guys, we got, we got a bit lost in the trails. We got spit right out onto uh, Shelly Beach. So a bit, bit of a technical maze to get through here. A bit of traffic. A bit of traffic. You gotta do something, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Damn, this place sucks, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for having a winner this time. <laughs> Hey, I was being, I was being sarcastic, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty lousy day in paradise, isn't it? <laughs> So what are you guys thoughts on uh, solo running then? You know, every day like we're doing all this like activities, we're working, it's busy, and then like, you know, we're socializing with other people at uni and whatnot. But like going out on a solo jog definitely hits different. It's quite uh, meditative. Meditative for sure. I think you can 
all my best ideas come from the solo jobs. I thought of starting the podcast and stuff when I was out for a job. All my good ideas come, come from it, so I think there's a time and place for solo running for sure. Oh, 100% agree, 100% agree. Yeah, more fully tight. More indoor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I said, as, 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 as they say, yeah. chop wood, carry water, right? Yeah. yeah <laughs> Once you chop the wood, you gotta, you gotta carry the water. <laughs> Freezing. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. <laughs> Three. Two. One. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Dramatic run. <laughs> Groups of two, three, or four. Like, I feel like I go to run club and then I make friends, and the people I'm getting close to, I kind of invite for like a, a smaller group on like this. Yeah. Yeah. I, I kind of like that across. So you say like a big group environment. You you don't really get into it with anyone. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So yeah, I feel like a, yeah. It's like a connection to runs like this. Yeah. The, like. the big group is just like a swipe and next one sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Whereas whereas a one on one small group is like, like a, a, a date. <laughs> 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 so, are we going to get a second date? I love how we keep trying to get all the angles down. <laughs> Can't be bothered now. I don't know how to keep the angles down. I don't know. Gotta get the angle, eh? What's, What's the most boring. What are we cooking? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, a bit of pasta, you know? A bit of prawns, a bit of, of fettuccine, we'll add some cream in there. Just like a. I'm trying something new, you know? So do you look, I like the new look though. Yeah, flip the camera. Talk about something new. Actually, this this whole fit is uh, sponsored by Luke and Jaden. Yeah, look at that. We got Jaden's sunglasses. We got the uh, <laughs> Sydney Uni shirt. Sydney Uni shirt. I love how this camera, you can do like the. When it gets really serious, you're like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, like what, that's what Casey Neistat does. Yeah, he does. He does a lot of. A lot of... You live, I, walked, <laughs> hang on, hang on. I walked into this room and I was like, holy <laughs> shit, what's going on in here? Like a documentary or something. <laughs> YouTubers. Doing their thing, that's what we're doing. I was like, are you two vloggers now? <laughs> they are vlogging, you're right. Yeah. They're pretty good. I reckon they're better than me at the, the storytelling bit. Like the... Wow, that is such a compliment to have that. <laughs> that means a lot. That means so much. Anyway, I'm excited for the pasta. I'm hungry. So, made it hungry. Chili bites. Chili powder. Why not? It's weird that the camera's held by someone. <laughs> um, we're getting more official. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a professional cameraman now. <laughs> so you you basically got these run clubs, right? But it's like, why can't it be bike clubs or like gym memberships? I swear, like gym memberships used to be the thing, but now it's like now it's run run clubs are the new thing, and it's like, yeah, they're still pretty good. They're they're great. I feel like. Yeah. So I guess the question is now, it's like, are they good for the sport? Yeah, they're great. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're great yeah. for the sport. Yeah, yeah. keep right. them coming. <laughs> and if you feel it, if you feel like you need to, or you're, you're on the verge of like joining a run club, like just do it. If you're scared as a runner to to or as starting off as running, um, you know, to join the sport, mm. just just do it. Mm. And there's just, always just, someone slower than you. There's always someone slower than you. Okay, yeah. and people always freak out like, oh, I get so tired after after two k's, after three k's. How do I long, run for further? Like, just go slower. Ooh. Don't worry about the Strava segment. Don't worry about what your pace is. Just, just chuck the watch away. Just run slower and go for longer. And I can. That would. Once you hit the thirty-minute mark of running, you'll feel great. Yeah. Agree. Uh, Nailed good. it. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to say anything else. Now. <laughs> it's, a it's a beautiful sport. Running it really is such for sure. 
a stunning sport. <laughs>